I've been doing the exchange programs for coming up on my eighth year. So every year that's new groups of families to meet and when I run into them again, it's so much fun to see how much they enjoyed it. We usually do have families come back to host like two, three times until their kids are um, all out of the house. And I really enjoy working with the people and getting to know, like I said, just not the Dyson people, but also the various families in Temecula. Um, that's been my favorite part of it all. So Dyson and Temecula became sister cities 22 years ago. Originally what happened was Dyson was known as the town of Nakayama and it was just one little city and they were searching for a sister city and they have been put in touch with several little towns usually when they pair up sister cities they try to look for an area that's about the same um, population, the same type of industries, and back um, you know, 20 years ago in Temecula, we were more of a smaller community. We had the wine industry starting, but we had the orange groves and things like that, which is very similar to what Nakayama is. It's uh, more of a farm, small community, farming. A lot of um, individuals who retired would run a little small, um, small farm on their own, and they wanted to establish a sister city. So they had come here and visited various places, and they liked Temecula the best and so we established a sister city relationship with them. In 2005, Nakayama merged with his neighboring town Dyson to become Dyson Nakayama. Dyson Nakayama is located on the southwest coast of the island of Japan. Dyson Nakayama has an approximate population of 7,000 people, a fraction of Temecula's population. There's plenty of activities to do in Dyson. With its golf course and river fishing, Dyson Nakayama also has many annual events. There is an annual cycling race during the first week of October. After the race, the community has a barbecue. On May 4th, the day before Children's Day, men and boys dress in samurai clothes and there's a display of ancient guns and archery. Visitors can't go to Japan without experiencing the hot springs, one of which is located in Nakayama. People visit the Nakayama Hot Springs to boost their health and spirits. Our sister city relationship has affected our community by providing a cultural exchange between the citizens of Temecula and of Dyson, Japan. Our biggest events that we have is the exchange with our middle school, the middle school students in Dyson, Japan, and um, also with the adults. We have the middle school students come out in summer, and we have the adults come out in winter. And we've also had um, our own middle school students go and visit Dyson, usually during spring break and we've also had our group of adults go as well. We've enjoyed watching um, the two cities grow. Definitely the merging of the other two cities with Dyson have made them bigger, but in terms of population growth, Temecula has definitely grown more. And so it's been a bigger experience for them than for us. They've seen our wine industry grow and they very much enjoy visiting our wineries. students and adults have visited, what they've really enjoyed is being able to feel like they've experienced the more intimate, more Japanese experience um, in terms of food, setting the ambience of it, um, realizing um, that there's way more to Japan, but also um, maybe breaking through a little bit of that stereotype that um, sometimes the Japanese are always like very serious, which when you're in the city, everyone looks very serious and seeing them relaxing in their own own um, settings um, and also being able to visit schools and see how they differ compared to ours. We're over there, they take us around to the various sites. Over the years, Temecula has become a little less agricultural based. Um, Dyson is still, so they take us to see a lot of fields, like they're famous for their broccoli and this type of leek and also um, an Asian pear in particular. Those are like their three biggest things. So they take us to the fields to see those. Um, we go into their school, they give us a cultural like club. We learn like how to do calligraphy and flower arranging and all that. 
No Japanese town is complete without temples, shrines, and statues. One of its two temples, the Taiku Temple built in 1357, famous for its dirt wall, has a famous hiking path with 33 statues. There's also a memorial statue, which was erected to commemorate the Emperor of Japan, who had a vacation home in Nakayama in 1333. Farmers grow Japanese pears, broccoli, and produce delicious beef. Not only does Nakayama have beautiful cherry blossoms, but it also has its own flower, the Hamanasu, with its radiant fuchsia color. We do allow the high school students to come if there's spaces, because um, we're allowed to take up to 15 students, and that's just, it's not like 15 because we don't feel comfortable with bigger groups, it's just 15 uh, fills up one bus, and if we get any more, then we have to get a bigger bus, so, and that gets more expensive. Some of the things that I've learned by running the program is time management. <laughs> Um, being able to, um, one of the things is as coordinator of these events is trying to bring together um, all these families um, and make them all feel comfortable learning to kind of see the interactions and fill out if everything is working well and being um, available to, to like if there's any concerns which we've never really had anything um, just uh, yeah uh, definitely time management learning to throw parties <laughs> um, budgeting for food um, definitely all that it's an event um, I, if I were comparing my liaison position it's yeah it's a little bit of diplomacy and a lot event party uh, coordinator um, I get to work with the city I uh, there's uh, a couple of wonderful ladies that I've worked with in the city who helped me um, arrange like the different site seatings around Temecula, um, the library, the senior citizen center, uh, the public theater, um, the children's museum, Vell community. I got to meet all these people as a result of this program um, and learn be, and being able to share that with other people. So my I guess ability to share has <laughs> gotten bigger too. A sister city, by definition, is a city that is linked to another city, usually for purposes of cultural exchange. But more than that, and what's bigger than that in fact, is that it connects us with people who could be a great distance away. It shows that distance is not a factor, for we are all one. We are all a part of this one earth, and we all have a common interest in mind, the earth in which we inhabit. 